Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. I hope you guys are well and happy new year. Today we have a very exciting release that I want to chat with you guys about. I bought two of the three new shades. These are the number one De Chanel Red Camellia Lip and Cheek Balms. I absolutely adore these Lip and Cheek Balms. I've used mine a ton since they were first released. I think it was like two years ago now, was it? Oh my goodness. And it was a surprise, right? To get in to get a new shade of them. I was going to purchase the third one, but the third one was really, really orange, and I just second guessed myself because I was sitting there trying to be a little better about, you know, the things that I do buy and will I wear it a ton? I don't know. So I skipped that one for now. The shade numbers are seven, eight, and nine, and they come in this packaging here really pretty and I purchased shade eight and nine yeah now this is shade eight shade eight is called ardent brick so really that bricky shade shade seven was I'll post a picture of it here so you can see what it looked like it was very very coral more orange in it to me online I don't know what it looks like in in real life but I decided oh I don't know I don't know and then at the last second I decided no so this here is an 18 month shelf life you're getting 6.5 grams made in France I'm excited to try them this is eight ardent brick and this one you guys I'm so excited about so this is shade nine. Oh my goodness purple energy so this is purple energy y'all take a look at that beauty I'm more pumped about this than anything else <laughs> let's put them on side by side and see what they look like. I am going to swatch them for you. Purple Energy Ardent Brick. So this is eight and nine. We'll do one on each side and play around with them on the lips as well. And yeah, let's do it. All right. You're probably wondering how much one of these little guys retails for. It's 45 US dollars. So they are on the Chanel website. Now, I know before Ulta had a deal with Chanel where they were selling them, and it was exclusive, this number one was exclusive to the Ulta and to the Chanel website. So, I'm not sure if that's still the case, but probably so, quite honestly. I will keep looking at the Ulta website to see if they come come up and about or whatnot. I am going to take a, like, a very dense stippling brush. What is a good brush here? I think this everything brush by Jones Road, it's staple brush, honestly. I'm going to go and number, uh, we'll do the Ardent Brick number eight first. And, ooh, let's just see how this looks on the cheek. These, I love the formulation of. Now, the reason I love the formulation of these so much is it gives such a pretty wash to the cheek without being over pigmented or over matte or honestly over dewy. And it gives a pretty just glow, natural glow to the, to the skin. It makes it just look healthy and radiant, which I love. So that's really, what do we think? Number eight. Okay, I took my lipstick off so we can go over and um, these are, you know, you can put these on the lips too. Gives like a nice glossy tint, right, to the lip. I think this shade is going to be gorgeous for spring, summer, just brightens and liven, livens up the face a lot and it's really, really nice. I love that this is, you've got the red in it, it's not too much, right? Definitely that bricky kind of has a little bit of um, brown in it, right? I like that. Let me take the lip off and then we'll go on the other side with this kind of more blue barrier shade. I got a different brush now. This is a rose ink brush. So it's definitely still that dense kind of stipply type brush. And we are going to go into this oh, kind of purpley shade. 
Ooh, I love a shade like this, y'all. I just, it gives, especially during the winter, it gives such a really pretty kind of kiss by the cold, <laughs> right? Ooh, this is fun. I like blush. So for me, I'm a little bit probably more heavy handed than what people would prefer. But I like to, I like it. And I think it gives a really pretty natural color to the cheek as well as that pretty glow, right? Now you can definitely tell the difference between this shade and this shade, right? Definitely a little bit more blue undertone, a lot more cooler on this side, warmer on this side. So a little bit of, you know, a little bit of both, right? Let's put it on the lips and see what we're looking at. Yes. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness. Like I said, I just love the formula. The formula is very in line with what it, what it is and what it has been, of course. And just new shade, y'all. Oh, very nice. If you want to use lip liner, you can, you know, I didn't, but you know, I'm just playing around y'all. It's not going to be perfect. I'm just trial and error and trial and error and see what works, right? I'm just looking at myself in the mirror here. I'm like, hmm, I don't know which one I like better. Like for fall, winter, I think I like this kind of cooler berry shade, but then this could really, could really look great in the summer, right? Tell me your thoughts below. I want to know what you think of these two new shades. Like I said, I didn't get the third, the number seven, but I don't know. I thought, you know, I'll try these two for now. And you never know, maybe I will. <laughs> but let me know what you think. Which shade do you like better? You like kind of the cooler berry or kind of this bricky reddish color? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I invite you to subscribe. I'd love it if you joined us here. This is just a fun chit chatty corner of the internet where we play with makeup. It may not be the latest and greatest or it may. It depends on, just depends on what's going on in the makeup beauty world or whatnot, but I just enjoy making videos and chatting with you guys, quite frankly. I will leave my latest video right here and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.